So, why am I not explaining what a beautiful Ducati Multistrada 1200S reverse pike peak that this bike is? And why am I down here? Well, I'm bloody happy I've got a cup of tea. I'm spilling. But I'm not happy what happened to me. So I'm 140 miles away from my house. 140. On my own, by the way. Now, I've just bought this from Swindon, and I'm 18 miles away from the house I bought it from. And all of a sudden, the traffic on the M4, busy road, three lanes, a motorway, starts to back up a little bit. I'm in sixth gear, doing 70 miles an hour. I knock it down to fifth, and I get a false neutral. I thought, oh, so I then put it down to fifth, fourth, and I'm thinking, where the hell's the gear le lever gone? And this gear lever was dangling down here somewhere. So I didn't have much time to think about it. I just sort of, all of a sudden doing 50 odd mile an hour, no gear at all. I managed to get in, get in and get on the hard shoulder quickly. Turn the engine off and get off and have a look. And what I found was this gear lever, which you can see this little bit of tackiness, was just flapping in the wind. The bolt had come out. A fucking bolt came out. So I wasn't gonna swear. The bolt came out. So I'm standing there, a hard shoulder on a blind bend on the M bloody four doing it again thinking fuck so I thought there's got to be something around found a stick tried to wood it in snapped it straight away there was nothing so I'm ringing around thinking well, I don't know what to do and then I thought wait a minute I have a key ring with a key on it for my shed so I pulled it out mangled it as much as I could and I come up with this ingenious idea <laughs> <laughs> but whether it's an amazing Ducati bike, a bit of skill, a bit of luck, I was in sixth. I managed to pop it into sixth gear and I managed to pull away by riding the clutch a little bit and then get the revs up. And of course, on the way there, there was nothing but traffic. Friday afternoon, two o'clock, hair's a mess. And I managed to ride along, get up to the 70 mile an hour, and I'm in sixth gear. And of course, there's loads of traffic. So I knocked down to fifth, perfect but you can't go up a gear again. So I can only go down a gear into fifth. So I can still do 70, of course the traffic's backing up, so I'm doing 30, and it's it's juddering, it doesn't like it, I knew that. I got onto the M25, and there was loads more traffic, and I popped it down, I thought, no, I'm in fourth gear now. So now, it doesn't like it, I'm hitting about 4,000 revs at 70 mile an hour odd, and it doesn't like it, it wants me to change gear. But I thought, I can still do it, 30 to 70, I can still do it and then wall to wall traffic, van this much, and I had to pull the clutch in, and again, your brain just naturally knocked it down to third gear, and I'm thinking, no. So now I'm weaving through at 15, 20 miles an hour, it doesn't like it, it wants me to go down again, but now the maximum I can do that I feel safe with at five and a half thousand miles is 55 miles an hour. And I did 60 miles doing that, <laughs> not happy, but luckily the traffic was backing up all the time, so, I was doing like 20, 30, 40 mile an hour, and then up to 60 mile an hour, 55, back down again. It wasn't constant. And I managed to get home. All thanks to this. And all I needed, even something I'd have, you know, in my shed, a six mil bolt, double um, nut on that side, it would have got me home, but I had nothing with me. So, not a bloody great start to a beautiful bike. My, my hands at seven, you know, 6,000 revs were, were tingling. I mean, I couldn't say about the handling, it's a bit windy. Um, this screen is the carbon version. Oh, I, I, the wind was in my face, you know. I, I like a bit of coverage on my face. If you look at my old Tiger, you know, it's got that big, big screen. The flies hit that and not me. I felt like me, myself and Irene, because I had the, the uh, visor up, you know. Anyway, there we go. Check out my next video where I'm loving this and it's running properly because I'm still in third gear, I can't get out of gear. <laughs> so hence I'm gonna put a bolt in it and then I'm gonna get a proper bolt and then get it properly together. And I'm gonna have to go over this bike completely. The guy said it was serviced and that's why I just thought, you know, beautiful bike, away I go. Never expected that, other than 40 miles away from home. I'm pissed, yes. Right, check out the new ones coming up. Thanks for watching. Friday, what else do you wanna do? Go out on your lovely bike. Have a nice ride home maybe.